Greetings on behalf of Duana Malone, a.k.a. The Tech Queen, and Matthew Alexander, a.k.a. The Tech King. We're going to take a quick moment to show you how you can maximize the efficiency of capturing business cards that have been collected from trade shows, one-on-one -on -one meetings, and networking events. Stay tuned. Making lots of new connections is good. Keeping track of all those business cards? That's the tough part. Until now. Welcome to the all-new CamCard. With CamCard, you can quickly store anybody's contact information. All you need is a phone and their business card. Just snap a photo of the card and in seconds, the CamCard app scans it and saves the info, both to your phone's contact list and to your CamCard account. For every card it scans, CamCard auto-detects its orientation, smart crops the edges, and enhances the way it looks. The result? A clear, beautiful image. It's easy to search, sort, group, and merge cards, or share them with colleagues. And any edit made on one device updates all of them. But CamCard doesn't just keep you organized. It also helps grow your business. With the brand new AR card feature, you aren't stuck being represented by a basic business card. Instead, you can create an interactive virtual world connected to your contact information. Add graphics, videos, links, 3D models of products, and more. Personalizing your AR card helps you and your company stand out from the crowd. And no matter the language you use, once you create an AR card, it will be 100% accurately read by your partners all over the world. Anytime you add to your AR card, everyone you're linked with will see a special recently updated icon next to your name in their contact list. Staying organized and growing your business has never been easier. CamCard. Read your card. Mind your business. All right, this is Duana Malone, the Tech Queen. I'm so excited to share one of our most powerful tools that we use for scanning, managing, syncing, and exchanging business cards. I'm gonna demonstrate how you can utilize the information once it's scanned into the actual desktop application or your mobile app. First of all, we're gonna sign in, and I'm going to use the example right here where it says enter email. We're gonna go ahead and type data at Aldelano, which is the account username for this illustration, aldelanointernational.com. Password is going to be given to you in your email. So the password is the assigned password that this account was signed up with. Since we're recording on video, I'm not going to make that public. So once you created the account, it's going to be that one. We're all as a team going to be sharing the same username and password like we do for the Twitter account. So in this instance, we're going to sign in using the email and password on file. This illustration has cards, 13 business cards that have already been scanned in and tagged. When you look at tag, you're looking at the category that it was assigned. So let me first go over the categories. They're in line with the 14 categories that we agreed in team meeting that each contact will be identified by. We're not limited to these 14. We're definitely not limited to these 14. Uh, they may add um, as we go on. We may be adding to these 14, but we're going to start with these. As a team, we identified these are the most appropriate categories or tags that each contact uh, would be uh, filed under. Keep in mind, they can have multiple tags associated to one contact. Let's take a look here. You see how it says ungroup zero? That means that every single business card have been assigned a tag out of one of the 14 um, available. So if I were to look for who said they're going to be a buyer, I can go to this tag, which is Bishop Vincent Matthews. If I go down here, I see early adapters. Uh, you see Bishop Matthews as well. So you see how multiple tags to one category. If I go down to investor, these are the people that were mentioned at the trade show that said they wanted to be an investor. So they're categorized and filed under the investor. Key connectors. When I click on that, I'm going to find these 
five business cards of people that are key connectors. And you notice here that some of them, if I were to click on one of these key connectors, for example, let's take a look at William McCurdy. He's a key connector. But you'll also notice in his tag category that not only is he tagged as key connector, but he's also listed under churches, ministries, and a possible boss contact. So this one contact, again, has multiple tags. Going back to our main screen here, you'll notice when I go back to search all cards once again, I'm going to see that there are multiple cards that have been scanned and I can just click on either of the cards or either of the categories to find what I am looking for. So we're excited once again to share this with you. If you have any questions, please let me know. If I click on media, let's continue on in our example. I'm going to see that this particular person is in media. In fact, this person interviewed Coach Allen Hattie Hollingsworth, Mr. and Mrs. H, while we were in St. Louis at the CBS radio studios. So you can find him located in the media. I think you get the point. I don't want to overburden you with information. If I click on politicians, you're going to see that there's two in that category. This was designed to make it very easy so that while you're making your cell support calls, and following up according to the qualifying questions that have been provided for you, you can use this tool to easily just click on, if you're on your mobile phone, you can just click on their phone number or email and now directly contact them. Again, camcard.com. Thank you.